No kidding. Sabay so speaking. Can I help you? The Ottawa Hospital is the largest advanced care hospital in our region. We look after a population of 1.3 million people. The hospital is spread out over three campuses. Uh, we have one campus that specializes in trauma care and in uh, brain and cardiac care. We have another campus that is focused on uh, day surgery ambulatory care and a third campus that is focused on ca providing cancer services to patients. We have 1,200 physicians, probably about 12,000 staff, 4,000 nurses at any one time, and a number of residents that come through the system. Like we're, we're looking at probably 900 to 1,000 residents, so those are medical students at any one time. Um, so we're a very large and complex organization, and the need for information to provide services to our patients for all of those clinicians that actually deliver care is absolutely critical. The care team we involve in, the, in supervising and looking after our patients here is not just nurses and doctors. We have very active involvement of our pharmacists. We have involvement of our physiotherapists and our occupational therapists, as well as our social work. Uh, all these people are required to put together a comprehensive plan of care for some of these patients. So there's a lot of people you have to connect with, and that's where uh, Mobile Connect Communications helps us link to all those people, get everybody on the same page, and then put a clear plan together for the care of the patient. I also have connected with a lot of my clinical managers that directly report to me to have two-way conversations with them, almost an in instant messaging. And the benefit to that for me is that if I'm struggling to connect with them, it alerts them that I'm trying to reach them on an immediate basis and it also rec records the conversation. Patient care is uh, easier. Uh, if I'm paged, if there's an issue, I can see right away what the issue is and get back with a response very quickly. Uh, when I'm receiving a message, uh, they can put data in, they can put information in. So again, it speeds up the response. Basically, it allows you to take control and have a greater degree of control over communication. Instead of calling down and trying to organize a consult or a request from someone, you actually do it yourself or are able to locate the person you're looking for and commu establish communication with them more directly. So it saves you time. You don't sit around waiting for somebody to call you back and not sure where they're going to come. You, they call you back quite quickly. And so that's a huge improvement in, your, in the workflow during your day. It saves you time and helps your day uh, operate more smoothly. And if you can get a hold of the person you need, you're more likely to be able to create a good care plan for the patient. Historically, we have open communication. In this model, we're actually having secure texting communication between people. You can send text messages to individuals, identify, uh, send content about a patient. You need to help us look after this specific patient. And you can be confident that information is being managed in a secure fashion. If you use general texting, uh, such as commercial texting services and uh, text messaging services, you don't have that level of security. I'd be very alarmed if we were sending a lot of patient information through non-secure texting means. So it's very important to be able to have a secure channel to allow members of the care team to communicate about patients. So the part I like the best is when somebody puts their, their, the telephone number I need to call them back at in a way that I can just touch on the, on the screen and it automatically dials that number. That, that functionality is the part I like the very best personally. Um, from a business point of view, I really like the fact that we can audit um, compliance. We can go back and, from a risk management point of view if, and, and check to see whether or not a, a page was received, whether it was acknowledged and um, you know, follow through on that. It has all the information about who's on call, when they're on call, what their contact information is. That's not available really in any other system. It was really important for us to have a single directory um, for a couple of reasons. One, because we don't want to have to maintain two directories and I didn't want to have to build another directory. Um, our processes before uh, was completely manual. We had binders full of on-call schedules. I would say have a plan, a plan that, uh, that you get your key people. They've adapted well. As I mentioned to somebody this morning, I had the, had the easy job. It was one of those technologies of, to implement that people have wanted as opposed to one where they, you know, were fighting all the time. Uh, using Mobile Connect is very straightforward. It's uh, very natural. We don't have to train people on it. We show them the application and once they see it, they're able to use it very easily. 
and it's very natural. We've had positive feedback from our clinicians as to the value of it and they're very satisfied. They seem to be adapting quite well to it. I know that they like responding to each other and taking the call center out of the middle of it and just directly corresponding with each other, so I think they're adapting quite well. Communication is probably the most critical piece because when you're in a hurry, when you need a consult on somebody, you don't want, you want that to happen as quickly as possible. It's just connecting the people that provide the care and getting the support to the people that need the support from us to be able to execute that care at the front line. So better communications equals better care.